Welcome to the Folks Learn. In this section, we will handle code login form, main form, change password form. Now, we will change the form 1 to main form, then set the form as MDI form. MDI applications enable you to display multiple documents at the same time, with each document displayed in its own window. MDI applications often have a window menu item with submenus for switching between windows or documents. You need to add a menu strip control to main form. The menu strip control is new to this version of Visual Studio and the .NET framework. With the control, you can easily create menus like those found in Microsoft Office. The menu strip control supports the multiple document interface and menu merging, tool tips, and overflow. Now, we will handle code login form. You should check your username and password already exist in your database. We will use singleton pattern to create an instance for the login form. This singleton pattern is one of the best known patterns in software engineering. Essentially, a singleton is a class which only allows a single instance of itself to be created, and usually gives simple access to that instance. Most commonly, singletons don't allow any parameters to be specified when creating the instance, as otherwise a second request for an instance but with a different parameter could be problematic. Now, we will handle code main form to receive all of the modules based on the user roles from database.
you need to get type of form, then create an instance to the form. The create instance method creates an instance of a type defined in an assembly by invoking the constructor that best matches the specified arguments. You can add a status strip to display user login information. A status strip control displays information about an object being viewed on a form, the object's components, or contextual information that relates to that object's operation within your application. Typically, a status strip control consists of tool strip status label objects, each of which displays text, an icon, or both. Now, we will create a simple UI that allows you to change the password.
Thank you for watching this video.